this was a shocker, and I, I don't quite understand it. So toward the end of the press conference, Aaron Boone announces that Jacoby Ellsbury, who had hip surgery last year, will not be reporting to camp with the rest of the position players. Now, pitchers and catchers are today, and then a couple of days later, it's, it's the position players. He will not be here because he's dealing with plantar fasciitis. Uh, okay, why isn't he in camp? They've got unbelievable trainers and doctors that, that are around the facility all the time. Why would that preclude him from reporting with the other players? Unless there's a deal that's being made and that he, does, he just doesn't want to come in and answer the questions. It is, if you look at it, and you can all join in. You can you can contact us on Twitter if you'd like. That might be one of the worst free agent signings of all time. Yeah. I mean, can that. you think of another one off the top of your head? Jason Bay was bad. Jason Bay was bad, but uh, I have to say that Ellsbury's worse. It, it might be worse. Ed Ed Whitson was bad, but not for the amount of money that they're like. He, he's still over over sixty three million dollars. It was so bad. Oh, my, well, oh my the, goodness. The, the and the guy can't get on the field. I'm not going to question the guy's injury, hey. but everything broke down last year. And now plantar fasciitis is keeping him out of spring they, training? They would have been better off just re-signing Cano. Cano was, they didn't want to go 10 years on Cano. They ended up going seven years with Ellsbury. They would have gotten more out of Cano in that span of time than they got out of Ellsbury. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. I mean, it's really, think about, like, there's, there's been really bad free agent signings by, by all teams in New York, but this one's epic. I mean, he didn't play in the playoff game no. when he was healthy. Right. And didn't, didn't seem like he cared. <laughs> didn't go into the, didn't go into Jordy's office and tip over the desk. He no. just, you know, docilely said, okay. Might have went in and thanked him. Uh, it's amazing to me. I, again, there's the one curious aspect of this. Why is he not reporting when he's dealing with plantar fasciitis? You would think that the team could deal with that better than any doctor that he's dealing with. And again, my only guess is they're keeping away until they can make a deal. One deal that I've heard that could be out there, you trade Ellsbury to the Giants for Johnny Cueto. Who makes a lot of money? He's not going to pitch this year. Tommy John surgery. Right. So they'll take Ellsbury's two years. You'll take what's left of Cueto, and when he comes back, you, got, you have yourself a pretty good pitcher and insurance money this year and the, because he's, he's he's on the DL. So he can maybe replace. IL. I guess he can replace. Yeah, no more DL. By the right. way, got to get that out of your system. The ill. Um. So he can replace CC. Yeah. Because then CC's going right, to retire, and then Cueto, Cueto, when Cueto Cueto's will be a fifth right. starter. When Cueto's right. Well, absolutely, he's great. But for the Yankees' purposes, maybe the, then he just becomes part of the mix. That would actually make a lot of sense.